Well, 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 the Wisconsin Badgers, they end up with a 65-41, just a dominant victory over the Virginia Cavaliers, who came into this matchup ranked number 24. I mean, there were a lot of questions, you know, about Wisconsin. Quad one wins. They lose to Providence. They lose to Tennessee. How are they going to fare in this one? Came in as a three-point underdog, but they just flat out dominated this one. And you got to go to the first half. You got to go to the defense. I mean, you held Virginia to 18 points defensively in the first half. Offensively, wasn't rolling to the, you know, the level you might expect. Only shot 33% or about 30% from the field, 10 of 33. But Wisconsin just dominated the boards. I mean, they kept getting offensive rebound after offensive rebound, were able to get some second chance opportunities and end up going up 28-18 in the first half. Second half, similar story. Wisconsin really broke out offensively, shot very efficiently from the field in the second half, and that ended up making it a 24-point lead at the end of the game, 65-41. to The defensive prowess continued. I got to start with the defense because the Badgers, they haven't really been to the level of defense that you expected them to be. Overall, it's not like it's been horrendous, but it wasn't the best defensive effort so far this season. And this one was just flat out dominant. Got to give props to Greg Gard for his handling of the rotations, keeping players fresh and keeping the defensive intensity up because it really seemed like... Virginia couldn't buy a bucket. It was a bunch of tough shots after tough shots. Wisconsin did a good job not fouling in this one, not letting Virginia go to the free throw line much. Only seven free throws for Virginia. And so, you know, it was a good effort on both ends for Wisconsin in this one. Offensively, my main takeaway, well, first of all, got to give props to Stephen Crowell. I thought Stephen Crowell played a hell of a game. You can look at the stat sheet, 15 points, 70% efficiency, 10 rebounds, but it was even better. Why? Because Virginia looked to double Stephen Crowell nearly every time he touched the ball in the post. What did he do instead? Well, he consistently found the open guy, didn't turn the ball over much, really improved his decision-making in these situations. Last year, Stephen Crowell struggled. It, he, he didn't make the decisions quick enough at times, and that, that led to some inopportune decisions for the Badgers last year when placing these double teams. Stephen Crowell has really improved, though, here. And then offensively, I mean, his motor was high. He consistently looked to try and score as well when the passing opportunities weren't there. He had 15 points consistently got the ball in the paint and scored. I mean, it was a really imp impressive effort from Stephen Crowell, who's taken the message from two games ago from Providence about finishing to heart. He's finished pretty darn well in these last two outings. Good game for Stephen Crowell. But one thing I thought was important in this game, the Badgers needed to prove to themselves that they could score well without A.J. Storr. Store only six shots in this one, shot two of six from the field, had seven points total, a couple of free throws as well. But the Badgers, they scored 65 points. I know they only shot 40% from the field, but really good in the second half and shot 44 from three and really did it without too much from A.J. Store. You, you've seen high volume from A.J. Store shooting-wise in the first three games, and that's important because the Badgers need scoring. They need a volume guy. They need a guy who can really take over, but they had a couple of guys today, you know, who stepped up. Max Klesman with a couple of tough shots. He had nine points. Tyler Wall, a really ugly first half, 0 of 6, but then bounced back in the second half, 4 of 7. He had nine total points. Crowell, I said, had 15. John Blackwell as well. Only shot 2 of 7, but he was aggressive. He missed all four of his two-pointers, but got to the line for, uh, for four free throws, hit all four of them, and then hit two three-pointers in this one. Ten points from him. Really impressive efforts overall from the Badgers. I think that this one's a really, really big building block for them. They're going to close it out between the winner of SMU and West Virginia. That game's going on right now. They're going to close it out with the winner of that one, I believe, on Wednesday. But a good effort for the Badgers. This is a great step going forward for them defensively and offensively. They got a lot to look forward to. Stay tuned for the coverage on Buckets with the Quarter, and we'll see you guys next time.